Does it seem like people only want games only when they become unavailable? Hey guys, Radical Reggie here, and I'm going to show you guys eight games that uh, are still on sale and might soon be unavailable. Um, I, I mean, when I say unavailable, I mean like probably the only way you'll be able to get them is on eBay. Uh, most of these are um, are Play Asia titles, but uh, I've talked about them before on my channel. But they are still in stock, and I'm wondering. I I saw a recent Play Asia a game uh, that was on there just sold out. But nobody wanted it. It took a long time for it to sell out. That game was RX Raijin. And now it's on eBay. Everybody wants it now. So I'm like, what the heck is going on here? It's pretty crazy. So my job in this video is to show you guys some games before they sell out. And these, I think, are pretty good games. So I wouldn't, like, tell you guys about games that I didn't really care about. But anyways, we're going to get right into it. First game is going to be Vesta. Uh, I didn't think much of Vesta when I first saw it. But... Um, as I started playing the game, it reminded me of uh, maybe like an isometric Ratchet and Clank game. Like Ratchet and Clank game, excuse me. Um, it felt like um, it just really, it kind of just felt like really good. Like it, it flowed well. Uh, the characters are very likable. The puzzles seem to like start off pretty easy. They get a little bit harder, but they're just they're really actually good. It's very clever, and I love the comic book style that the game is shown in. You know, the story mode showed through comic books, so you could like read the little dialogue and everything. This is a very good game, and as far as I know, uh, Play Asia is the only one that has a physical release for this game, and it comes with um, lots of cool stuff: art book, manual, yes, uh, comic, and certificate, and original soundtrack, which is great. The game right now is on sale uh, for the, the summer sale, and it's, I, I'll leave a link in the description for all the games I'm talking about. But guys, don't miss don't miss out on this game. This game is going to be one of those games where, dare I say it, hidden gem. But uh, definitely check out Vesta. Next game here is Dimension Drive. Uh, Dimension Drive um, is... Uh, Studio Mud Prince has talked about this game a lot, too. Well, he's actually played on his channel and talked about it as well. Um, it's a different kind of shooter where you kind of switch between two screens. So um, uh, there's different stuff going on one screen. Like, say that things are getting too hectic on one screen, you could, like, switch out to the other screen and kind of, like, uh, let's kind of, like, relax. On, well, not relax, but, you know, just kind of, like, take a break and, like, uh, get your bearings back because there's a lot of fast-paced action going on in this game. Uh, the game is story-driven. Uh, it has a, a cinematic cutscenes in it. Well, not cinematic, but comic book cutscenes. Um, and I can't remember if they added voice acting in, into it because usually I just skip through the cutscenes and go right to the gameplay. But the game is really good, guys. Uh, I know shoot-em-ups are definitely, like, um, a niche genre, but, you know... Like I said, when these games sell out, man, everybody's going to really want, oh my god, I didn't know this was released, so here I am telling you now. Uh, I was going to tell you about the Switch version of it, too, but the Switch version is actually sold out, so the PS4 version is still on sale, and it comes with original soundtrack, manual, uh, certificate, just all kind of cool stuff for a good price. Next up here is uh, Shikihondo uh, for the PS4. Now, Shikihondo is definitely a shooter that reminds me of, uh, if you guys remember, uh, Castle Shishigami uh, for the PS2. Um, it's, I feel like it's made from the makers of that. The game feels like it plays the same. Um, very good looking game. It, it's, it, it has to do with a lot of Japanese folklore, uh, with the art style and everything. Um, just one of those games, guys, that you don't want to miss out on. Now, the Switch version actually sold out, so all there's left is the PS4 version right now. So if you want to pick this game up, definitely go for it. I mean, seriously, like I said before, uh, shoot 'em ups are a niche genre, and uh, we gotta do our part. Well, not do our part, but you know, if you if you're interested in these games, guys, you know, definitely pick them up because when they're sold out, it seems like hey, everybody wants it all of a sudden. So definitely check this one out, guys. It's on sale as of this video. Um, I can't say enough about the game. It's a lot of fun. Alright, guys. So next up is Bleed and Bleed Two. These all came in one package, but you could buy them separately on the website as of now. But I would just recommend everybody get them together because it's, you might as well. It's still on the cheap. Um, this is a running gun game, and uh, it's it's really cool because you use the right analog stick to, to aim where you want to shoot at, and with the, the mechanic in this game that's really cool is a slow motion mechanic. So you could do like slow motion moves, like dodge and shoot stuff, and this is this is really outstanding. And it's a two player game, uh, sprite based, which is great. You know we like sprite based games. Um, 
comes with soundtrack manual like all this stuff pretty much comes with soundtrack and manual so just to let you guys know but I'm, I'm so surprised this game has not sold out yet it's been on the website for two years and just nobody really knows about it you know uh, this game is a really solid game if you like running gun shooters this is something you um, you definitely want to pick up I actually beat the first bleed I haven't beat bleed 2 yet bleed 2 is a much better game uh, but they're both good games but um, this game soundtrack is on point guys you definitely uh, want to pick this up um, Bleed and Bleed 2, but if you if not, you know, you could get them separately, but you get a better uh, bang for your buck if you get them both together in this box. Next up here, we have uh, Paddle Box. Uh, actually, I'm talking about this in an upcoming pickups video. So if you guys like games like Punch-Out, um, this game plays like Punch-Out, but think of like Punch-Out the arcade game, like Super Punch-Out. This game, if it was compared to that, it'd be called Super Duper Punch-Out. You fight all kind of crazy enemies in this game, uh, chef, uh, freaking bomb expert, uh, just weird characters in this game, and it, it gets pretty crazy. But it's a lot of fun, and definitely I, I was surprised by this one. Now, this game is, as you can see, is available for Switch, but it's also available for the PS4 as well. So I'll leave a link in the description for both versions. Um, if you, like I said, if you like games like Punch Out, definitely try it out. I was playing the art. There's a story mode and an arcade mode. I was going through arcade mode so I could get through the characters and see who I, who I had to deal with, get used to their patterns, and learn how to deal with them. But I was having a lot of fun with it. Um, the only thing I don't, I, I it was really surprising about this game was I. It doesn't seem like you have a super crazy move that you could like hit enemies with. Maybe I just didn't find it yet or whatever. But uh, I was just doing the regular jab and body punches and everything. So, but anyways, um. And more of you guys know more about the game. Maybe you could tell me if there's any special moves that I'm not doing right or doing yet. So definitely check that one out. And next one up here, I haven't even played this one yet, but I, I was looking at it and I thought it looked cool. This, this actually came in the mail. This is Death Road Canada. Death Road to Canada, excuse me. And um, a lot of I've heard a lot of people talk about this game. Like they, they really enjoy it. Like I've seen a lot of live streams of people going crazy for it. And just, just seems like a lot of fun. Now this is available for the Switch and the PS4 right now. So, uh, I would say if you like games, like, well, I haven't really played that, but from what I'm seeing, it seems like you're driving to Canada, of course. Uh, you have to get, like, resources, like, I guess, like, gas and everything, or maybe, like, it's kind of like Oregon Trail, like, you stop, get gas, and stop at certain places, and you might be infected with zombies. You got to defend yourselves until you get out of there. That's what I'm assuming by the footage I saw of it yet, but like I said, this copy's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet, but if you guys know more about this game in the comments, please let me know. I'm very interested, and, um... I wish I would have played this game on, on the way to the Vancouver uh, Retro Gaming Expo if I knew about it. But anyways, I have it now. It's always next All right, guys. So the next game up here is Reverie uh, for the Vita and the PS4. Now, the game actually sold out recently on the on the Switch. Which the Switch version actually came out later. But I think people didn't know about the, the Vita and PS4 one. I'm, I'm surprised that this hasn't sold out yet. Uh, these are great games, at least in my opinion. They're not very long. But they have that, they play like a top-down um, Zelda games, and it has the art style of Earthbound, so um, that's already going for it, you know. Um, uh, it's not, it's not, the story is not that big of a draw in the game properly, but I think they did a good job on it. I like the story a lot. Um, I think maybe just, I don't know, I just think people didn't know about this game, and, you know, it's, it's a shame. But, like I said, it's still on there for sale, guys. Um, don't pass up on this game, because as soon as it sells out, Everybody's gonna want it. They're gonna be on. You oh my god! I gotta get this game now because it's sold out. So, it's it's on. A, it's at a good price right now. So definitely pick this one up, guys. And the last game, which I'm very shocked is still for sale on the site as of this video, um, is Fast Striker. Um, Fast Striker is uh, an awesome shoot 'em up, and I can't believe that this game has not gotten any more attention. Um, seriously. Uh, great soundtrack, uh, great art style, just great gameplay overall. Um, I can't say enough about this game. I actually did a video talking about the game, and I just really had a good time with this one. And to my surprise, it's been up for a, a, quite a while, and a lot of people haven't caught on to it. Um, it it's, it's, it's possible that some people just may not like the games I'm talking about, and that's why they haven't sold out or whatnot, but I think that's not true. I, think, I just think a lot of people don't even know that these games exist as physical, and... What I'm trying to do is just get the word out to you guys because it, it's a, it'll be a shame for a lot of people to miss out on this game while the physical release is out. There's not that many copies of the physical release made. I can't remember exactly how many were made, or allegedly were made, but uh, I know a lot of hardcore Vita collectors will definitely, definitely should want this one. Um, uh, Vita is one of the crazy systems to collect for now. I mean, it's a hardcore fan base on the system. But Fast Striker, guys, I mean, 
there is no reason not to own this game. Uh, comes a lot of great stuff as, as usual. Um, let me give you an example of the game. It has six stages, three game modes, um, elaborate scoring system, great, like all games do. Uh, well, shoot 'em up games, that is. Uh, six huge uh, boss enemies, 3D uh, scrolling CG backgrounds, constant 60 frames per second. So uh, that's also a plus. But anyways, guys, yeah, this this is just a, another good game. So uh, if you if you haven't um, haven't picked this one up yet, you definitely wanna might want to rethink it. Say, hey, I might yeah, you want to pick this one up. But anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I wanted to kind of get these games out to you guys, like the information about it. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys will know where to pick these games up from. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. Uh, Radical Reggie, and I will see you later.